So this is a map of the United States, and we're going to use this cartoon to study something called Brouwer's Fixed Point Theorem. And uh, what I have here in my hand is a little miniature map of the United States. And there's an interesting relationship between these two maps. So if I take the little map and I put it on top of the big map, there will be exactly one point inside this map that is in the same place as it is in this map. So for example, just to kind of get a sense of that, if we put Davis in the same spot on both maps, so you'll notice now, for example, that uh, Davis is like um, right here on both maps, meaning if I take like a pin and I strike the page and it'll poke a hole through both maps in the exact same spot and it'll be at Davis, California. If we move this map somewhere else, then there'll be another spot that's exactly in the same spot. So if I put Texas entirely within the state of Texas here, for example, there'll be one place in Texas, maybe right there near Austin, where we have uh, the, the same spot is uh, on the both maps in the exact same spot. So if I take a pin and poke it, it'll be in the same spot in both maps. Now, that's a really interesting result, that as I move it around, one point remains in exactly the same spot. And it's true also, if you take the map and you crumple it up like this, and you drop it on top, still, in this case, if you take uh, a pin and you poke it like that, you'll find that there is exactly one point in exactly the same spot. Now, what uh, is more surprising is this result. So here I have liquid, okay, in three dimensions. This is actually a cup of water, it's my office plant. Um, and what happens is if I take this cup of water and I stir it like this, okay, and then I let it come to rest, what's true in three dimensions also is that there will be like a water molecule in the cup that is in the exact same spot before and after the stir. And that is a very, very weird result. Now, it's not exactly true for water because water is a um, molecule and the molecules are finite in their size. Um, whereas in order for this result to be true in terms of Brouwer's fixed point theorem, um, we have to uh, have an infinite number of uh, points in the space. It has to be uh, infinite resolution in order for that to be true. So it's sort of like the difference between uh, molecule molecules um, along uh, a geometry, like molecules along a line versus R itself. So if I have like a bunch of, of finite molecules, that's very different than having a continuum. Uh, so nature is this like finite rough space um, and then our perfect mathematical world where results like the uh, the um, Brouwer's fixed point theorem are true um, are slightly different from each other, but the two approximate each other and that's what mathematical modeling and applied mathematics is all about is trying to find the appropriate connection between the world of pure mathematics, which is fictitious and imaginary and doesn't actually possess real existence and this world where basically nothing fits any mathematical models perfectly but we try and make an approximation that makes sense.